What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today we are checking out the Icon RDA by Mike Vapes and Bandy Vapes. So stay tuned. That is right, YouTube. Today we are checking out the Icon RDA. Yes, this is Mike Vapes' RDA. Again, produced with in partnership with Bandy Vapes. Bandy Vapes basically, it's if I'm not mistaken, it was started by a gentleman named Stefan Z, and he is also the creator or co-creator of the Avocado and the Griffin, and basically we have the icon now. I think I don't know. Maybe my I need to do some more research. I think on that. But putting that part aside, let's talk about the actual RDA itself, and let's get into the specs. All right. So this is a 24 millimeter RDA. I have the stainless steel version, which is 303 stainless steel. There is also a black version as well, which is electroplated paint which is basically means it's meant to last, all right? It's, I think it's the same paint using like some cookware or something like that, and it's just it's meant to not ship. So anyone who has, I don't know, an alien who's used to having the paint chip off, you shouldn't have that with these RDAs at all. And of course, stainless steel version is absolutely beautiful. That's what I have right now. It does actually come with three different drip tips. You have a fatter drip tip, kind of a, a low profile fatter drip tip. These are all goon style, by the way. They're all goon style drip tips. If you have a goon, the drip tips are, of course, um, interchangeable and it also fits things like the Angry Beaver which is what I usually like to rock. That's what I'm rocking on my goon right now. For the purposes for you I'm only going to use the drip tips that are included just so we keep things fair but again all goon style drip tips will fit in it. On top of that it does have a drip tip adapter comes with the packaging so you do have the option to have a 510 drip tip in there if you like that method as well. Personally I like the larger drip tips because they provide a little bit more of a, an inhale but if you like the 510, you like a bit more restriction, you can definitely do that as well. Speaking about restric restriction, let's talk about the airflow. The airflow is called a hedge airflow. It basically is where it's indented into the RDA itself. So the side airflow, which by the way, kudos for doing side airflow. I am so happy Mike didn't go with bottom airflow. I know a lot of people love bottom airflow. I don't. And it's probably because I'm a huge over dripper, but I just cannot stand bottom airflow. Anyways, back on track, let's talk about the airflow as well again, going back to the restrictedness and how restrictive you like it. The airflow is, of course, fully adjustable. Even with that hedge style airflow in there, it's completely adjustable as you want to adjust your, your airflow. Personally, I like it wide open. It's nice, just wide open. It still has a little bit of restrictiveness even when it's wide open, which I love. Gives more flavor that way, in my opinion. And it's actually a really great flavorful RDA on top of it being a huge cloud chaser as well, which we'll get to a little later on in the video. Now, not only is it dual airflow, it's also built for single coil builds. So you can actually have a single coil airflow on it if you want. It does have both options, so whatever your preference is, just know that Mike Vape's looking out for you. In addition to having airflow options, you also have the option to switch out the 510 pin to have a squonk pin installed, which of course, much like Mike Vape's likes to do, is also included. So not only do you get three drip tips, you also get a squonk pin in there if you like to squonk. Moving on, let's talk about the build deck itself. The build deck itself, of course, comes pre-installed with hex screws. So you do have to have an Allen key, which is included, of course. But further than that, because I have the retail version, I actually also received four Phillips-style screws as well, so that we can use a Phillips screwdriver if you wish to, and you can interchange both. Personally, I just use the hex screws. I'm okay with that, but if you're not, just know that the retail version does have the option of having those Phillips screws available to you. The build deck itself, of course, having that really cool style build deck on it, it's not the most innovative thing out there, but it works for me, and it's still different enough that I have to give it credit because it is wonderful to build on. So with all that in mind, what do you say we actually do some cloud competition style here? I'm going to blow some clouds, show you guys what it looks like to perform, and the big question, of course, on that same note is how high can you take it? Does it get hot? Does it heat up quickly? And it doesn't. I can confirm that at 150 watts right now, which is what I'm vaping it at, it does not get hot at all. It stays nice and cool. It's very manageable at 150 watts plus. Now the build I have in here is of course a Saddle Horse Coils build, which is my personal favorite, my personal go-to coils. They are a local Calgary company putting in the coils and their coils are just top notch. So that's the only coils I use in my RDAs. I know there's some other great ones out there if you're not in Calgary, or if, even if you are in Calgary and you don't like Saddle Horse for whatever reason, then there are other options available. Personally speaking, I love saddle horse coils. They are my go-to in every RDA. It's my standard. All right, guys, so we've talked about basically what you get included. We talked about the RDA itself, the airflow, the build deck being that 24 karat gold plated, which is just absolutely stunning. But the one thing I haven't talked about too much is the flavor on this thing. I know I mentioned it's great flavor because the airflow and everything, but it actually does provide a really nice flavor. And it's, I think it's that conical design in the actual top cap itself 
that lends to help with that flavoring. It does provide a really nice flavor. And if you're like me and you find flavors really hard to find in some, in some cases, whether it be a tank or whether it be some other RDAs, this one does provide a really nice flavor, and it's a very well-balanced RDA between flavor and vapor production, as you saw previously. One thing I do want to mention is when you do inhale, there's almost this little, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, it's like a, a cough in the RDA itself, that it kind of when you inhale, you get this really weird noise that comes in that I actually love. It just, you can feel the power when you're inhaling, I guess, if that makes any sense at all, and it probably doesn't, so let me show you. I'm going to take a hit, and listen carefully as you hear, almost like a pop or like a, a, a Thunder or something, you'll get it when you hear it. Anyways, here it goes. Oh, I don't know if you heard that or not. Yes, there's a little bit of whistling in the airflow itself. That might be because of the way I have the build in here. It's a little bit uneven, so that might be providing a bit of a whistle but I don't know if you could hear through the whistle, you have that almost crackling noise. That to me is so satisfying in an RDA, I love that. It just feels like it's just, it's hitting the coils perfectly when you have that noise coming out at you. So that's what I love about it as well, is just that noise. I don't know if that makes difference to anyone out there. Maybe I'm alone on that, but I love that. I love hearing that little crackling in there, and it's just so satisfying. But let's go on to the last part of this review, which is, is of course the price tag. Now with the 24 karat gold plated, uh, build bit build deck and it's also by the way I don't think I mentioned this the build deck is seven milliliters as far as capacity goes So for someone like me who constantly over drips it is perfect because you can over drip the fuck out of this thing And it will not leak and I love that about it also with the double o rings on the on the build deck as well It's nice and secure. It's nice and loose. So even if you somehow over drip seven mils Which I guess is possible when you're me uh, It still won't leak out of there. You'll get some spit back of course if you're dripping that much but outside of that, there's really no leaking on this thing whatsoever. Now, anyways, going on to the price, like I said, I mean, this is definitely a high-end device. And with a high-end device, you expect to pay more, right? Wrong. That's where Mike Vapes outdid it again. This thing retails for $30 US, anywhere from, I think, $29 to $31, somewhere in that range, depending on where you shop around. It's basically in the $30 range, though, for US, and it's right around the $50 range Canadian. The big question is, of course, do I recommend it? Fuck yeah, I do. This thing is amazing. This thing has, honestly, this, this thing has retired my goon, and I never thought that would happen. I got the goon LP. I don't think I did a review on it or anything, but the goon LP I wasn't happy with. It went back to the original goon. I never thought anything would, would replace it or at least come close to it, and this thing just absolutely blew it out of the water. So I'm a big fan. Mike Vapes in his review mentioned something about uh, it was a perfect RDA for him, and I guess, you know, to Mr. Mike Vapes for watching this, big shout out to you because apparently we have the same the same idea of what a perfect RDA is because this thing is absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, I am a Mike Vapes fanboy like a lot of you guys out there. And at the same time, while I don't want my reviews to be biased, I hope this can come across as biased to try and provide as much information as possible so it doesn't come across that way. But just know that honestly, for me personally, this is the perfect RDA. This thing is absolutely what I look for in an RDA, full of flavor. The vapor production is absolutely outstanding. It can handle high wattage without getting hot. And it's just got that, uh, that that barrage of drip tips where you can kind of have multiple options all the way included in the box. And if any of those don't match, then any goon style drip tip will fit in there as well, like the Angry Beavers, which again, I'm a big fan of myself. Outside of that, I mean, the RDA itself, I have no complaints on it whatsoever. The price tag on it is fantastic. The build deck on it is top-notch quality. The squonker pin that's included, although it doesn't apply to me, I think a lot of people are going to love that option because you don't have to buy it yourself separately, which a lot of companies would make you do. I mean, in general, this this really is the perfect RDA for me. And I, I don't know how else to put it. So, Mike Vapes, great job on this device or on this RDA. Honestly, Vandy Vapes, big shout out to you guys as well for putting this thing together. It is absolutely stunning. It is my new go-to RDA. And in fact, not just my go-to RDA, it is my go-to device right now. I have, I have not used a tank in a while. Yes, this is the Super sub -ohm Tank Showdown, where I actually have to use those tanks for probably about two, two or three weeks straight. And uh, in that time when I was trying to test them out, I got this thing, and it was very hard to stay away from this thing to put my focus into the tank testing. As soon as I was done with that video, I have gone back to this. I have not stopped vaping on it ever since. I love it. I think it's a great RDA. Like I said, it's replaced my goon. 
And for the $30 price point, I mean, it's just so hard to pass up on. It really is. And the RDA in general, like I said, it's just so well built. It's just the perfect combination of everything. I'm kind of gushing over it right now, so I should probably sit back and stop for a second. But honestly, guys, it's, it's worth checking out for sure, at the very least. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Mike Vapes, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. I am so excited. I haven't put it down since it's, since it's arrived, basically, um, with the exception of doing my Super sub -ohm Tank review. But honestly, Mike, you do awesome work. Keep up the reviews, man. I love your reviews. I know a lot of other people do as well. And uh, you know what? Your RDA is not much different than your reviews. It's great. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And until next time, happy vaping, YouTube.